group. Um, I thought it would be fun to share some of the insights uh, in the reading that we were doing for today because it answers a lot of questions that make us furiously ruminate. So one of the things that we saw or we read is that OCD in itself is never enjoyable. There was a woman and she went to some shopping anonymous, like impulsive shopping support group. And all of the people were saying how much they enjoyed, you know, the rush of shopping. And she realized, or it became apparent she had OCD because she didn't enjoy compulsively shopping. She kind of enjoyed returning things, which I think uh, I think a lot of returns are done by people with OCD. I've certainly bought and returned a lot of things to get the perfect product for my needs. But the idea is that OCD is not enjoyable. So you can kind of distinguish uh, different things by does it feel good or does it feel bad? Um, and then people have been reaching out to me or someone reached out to me and she's one of the big obsessions is doing something embarrassing uh, and whether that can be our OCD type of social uh, shame type of things. Um, this person had an obsession about, you know, basically being indecent outdoors in front of other people. Um, and then the chapter went on to talk about people with OCD never act out violent thoughts. We're just so horrified by the content and that it would pop up in our minds. But if it's OCD, you don't act it out. You just consistently rerun it and think, what does this mean about me? Am I a terrible person? Um, and so the idea is to separate. Uh, so I'm just talking about brain lock and they say the idea is to separate yourself from the thoughts. And when your defenses are ready, uh, you have mindful awareness and you can relabel it. Uh, you know, that comes quickly to a prepared mind. So, uh, and then the next thing is that they talk about is social shame. Like, most people with OCD don't, like, we don't tell people because it's embarrassing. Like, I didn't, for the longest time, I didn't tell people, and I don't really tell people now. It's, uh, you know, you know, whether it's embarrassment or being afraid you'll get fired or they don't understand. So, I mean, most people don't understand OCD. Like, we barely even understand it. I'm learning a lot from just doing brain lock. So, uh, it's an awful lot of fun in support groups in about 10 minutes. I'm just popping on now. Um, they talk about, uh, so I'm just mentioning in brain lock, they talk about reattributing is just blaming OCD for the symptoms. You know, it's the brain that's overheating. It's as opposed to blaming you. So, you know, if you're asking like, why is this bothering me? Uh, why doesn't it go away? Uh, brain lock says it's because you have, we've got a medical condition, you know, like it's over flaring, you know, we have to unstick we have to let go. Um, so it's a bit of an acceptance, you know, like we've got OCD and we have to maximize what we can do with it. Uh, so in the summary for, I guess this is step one chapter in Brain Lock, he says, relabeling means calling the intrusive, unwanted thoughts and behaviors what they really are, and that's obsessions and compulsions. And he mentions that when you change your behavior, you change your brain. And I learned this recently because... Uh, uh, right now, like soccer is reopening where I am in Europe and I went and I played and uh, I did really well and it became bizarre that I would do really well when I worry the most uh, and it, it reminded me that um, if you do kind of what you're supposed to do, like going against this obstacle does make us stronger, but it's freaking exhausted, exhausting. Like I'm tired from constantly working and so I'm tr uh, for me, I'm, I'm working on you know, resting, treating, resting, treating, and, and not having OCD take away what I could be doing with my life. So um, anyway, that is a quick pitch for the support group. If you're not a part of it, it's in the Facebook group, links in the bio. That's what I learned from the end of the reading for today. If you do have any questions, put them in, but I've got to go because uh, support group starts in 10 minutes. Um, well, how about this? If you want to chat, just join us in the Facebook group. Uh, thanks for popping in and I'll talk to you soon.